In the last years of his life, Henri Matisse, one of the most famous painters in the world, all but gave up painting for these huge, colorful collages made out of cut paper. Most people think of cutting colored paper as something children do, and that there's a simplicity. What we might say, or what I might say, is that what he's doing is reducing form to its essentials, and that's one of his great achievements. It's one Curator of Jody Houtman is one of the organizers of Henri Matisse, The Cutouts, at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. Even at that point, when he had a full career, he was well known, he could have rested on his laurels, and he doesn't, he reaches for something new. The museum owns one of his best known paintings, The Dance, from 1909. Now look at this, more dancers. Here, Matisse used paper cutouts he could move around to figure out his composition for the famous mural commissioned in the early 1930s by the American collector, Dr. Albert Barnes. All of this looks like a dressmaker's pattern. It, it does, and Matisse himself actually grew up in a textile re region of France, and he collected textiles. So that connection is, I think, very significant. So he's working this out, he's pinning and unpinning, or really having his assistant pin and unpin these forms, and he's, he's thinking through the shapes of the figures. For decades, the cutouts were a means to an end, a tool, until in 1943, when Matisse was commissioned to produce a book called Jazz. There are 20 images in the book, and he uses cut paper to compose each plate. Matisse liked the look of the stuck-on bits of cut paper, but when the book was printed, all that texture was lost. Suddenly, he realized cutouts could be important, a new art form. I went to visit him, and he had the jazz series out all around the room, and he said, uh, it's the work of an invalid. And he, of course, he still has the urge to, to, to go and to do more. Paul Matisse, an artist himself, a sound sculptor, remembers his grandfather as driven to work, no matter what the personal cost. There were all sorts of issues, and he wasn't a cozy person, but mostly it was his intensity that drove what happened around him. A man who had to create, even though from 1940 on until his death in 1954 at the age of 84, Matisse was practically housebound as a result of a succession of near fatal illnesses. So, with shapes cut out of painted paper, he conjured up the world on his walls, even a swimming pool that filled a room. Matisse uh, is known to have said, he told his assistant, call a cab and let us go to a swimming pool. He wanted to see divers. And he got there where there were no divers. He says, let's go home. I'm going to make myself my own swimming pool. And that's what he did. Carl Buckberg is senior conservator at the Museum of Modern Art, which owns the swimming pool. One of the theses of our exhibition here at MoMA is that we want to show how Matisse lived with these works. They were all pinned up. It was Buckberg's painstaking four-year conservation of the swimming pool that led to the exhibition. You can see the pins, and we want people to see the pins. There they are. The amazing thing about the swimming pool is that you're seeing from all directions at once, above the swimmers, below them, alongside them, as they thrash about in the white sunlight and choppy blue water. In the blue nudes, it's possible to see that his cutouts were anything but simple or childlike. They were carefully reworked and rethought. So he calls the cutouts drawing with scissors, or he describes carving into color um, that's like sculpture. Matisse considered this chapel in the south of France his masterpiece. From the stained glass windows to the priest's vestments, the designs were based on cutouts. After surviving poor health and the horrors of World War II, 
scissoring away, Matisse experienced what he considered a whole new life. His cutouts exploded in size and exuberance. He compared cutting to flying. He did not go back to painting. He had discovered a new world, and he was just going to explore it. Paul Matisse had seen some of his grandfather's cutouts as works in progress, pinned up on walls, but never so many together. They are a marvel, even to him. I think he was just having the time of his life at this last period. One of the giants of 20th century art, Matisse said an artist should never be a prisoner of himself. Prisoner of style, prisoner of reputation, prisoner of success. With his cutouts, he set himself free one last time. <laughs>